Hey guys, today's February the 14th of 2024. Happy Valentine's. So without any further delay, let's check natural gas pre-US market. I did an Andrews pitchfork from the uh, August 23rd high, April 14 low, uh, October 27th high. And look what we have here, a little area of support with the 50% uh, or the midpoint of the uh, Andrews pitchfork. We kind of kissed it or just hovering around there. Look at the uh, volume yesterday for the bears. Very aggressive above average in regards to volume. So they were pushing it. Uh, so it's interesting there. Uh, let's look at like the uh, negative on the monthly. Nothing really changed on the weekly, although the MACD is getting deeper in, which is nice. And we're getting a back and forth. On the uh, MACD on a daily, we had a negative and now a, a, a positive. Just kind of chopping around here. And also, Tom D. Mark, TD9, is going to be kicking in tomorrow. So this is the 6, 7, 8. Tomorrow will be the ninth candle. Something to keep in mind. Let's go to our midpoint. But before I go there, let's look at... One of the charts I use with the Elliott Wave, and you know, I'm not an Elliott Wave guy. I'm not a professional Elliott Wave guy. I just like to watch it, comparing it to Gans theory. And one thing I noticed is Stokes are very oversold, indicating that there's a possible reversal. When? Well, I don't know. We'll see. Once we start making higher highs and higher lows, but we're in the sweet spot that I've been talking about, 176 to 166. And there is here a wave five projection. This is a wave five. It's moving along, but if it's going to go deeper, this is 150 right here. Uh, so it could go down there, but if it doesn't, if it just kind of holds here, it's still wave five. It's just this is another wave five level. And this is the uh, 1.618, uh, which is 127. I don't know if it'll get there, but you just never know with that gas. Um, where are we at at the bigger picture here? Let's see if we could just, uh, getting rusty here. What happened? There we go. So this is the 165 level I'm watching. Let's look over here. Now uh, this another level down here. That's 143. That's very extreme. Now the weekly, we already, uh, just, the uh, 166 is the level I've been watching. So I got in long at 166. Uh, couldn't get this filled, but got it at 166. So let's see what happens. I have my stops. I have my stop at 163, I think, 162. Just in case I'm wrong. But I figure, you know, if it's, if it's something's going to happen, it's probably going to happen either today or tomorrow. Uh, but I have my risk put in place just in case I'm wrong because I don't want to be uh, catching a falling knife. So targets for today, if we were to go higher, and I know this is risky because there's nothing positive here and, you know, and it could go lower and uh, stop me out. There's a, there's a pivot here, low of 162 and also 159 that it could just open in the U.S. and just continue pushing low and maybe find support at 159 and I'll get stopped out. But if it's going to go higher, obviously above the VWAP, above 172, and targets to the upside would be 174, 178, 182, and then 185 for today only. And on the weekly, you're pretty much at the bottom of the barrel. There's nothing lower here than this but it could go lower just letting you know it could push lower so it was a very risky trade it's one of those trades i'm either right or i'm either wrong <clears throat> statistically today is an upside day so that doesn't guarantee that it will be just putting it out there for those that think oh the statistical calendar is the best thing sometimes it goes against you sometimes it doesn't play out so just be careful it's just a little thing just for you to have to know, but that is guaranteed that it's going to play out. No, nothing's guaranteed. Uh, so statistical calendar is up today. Uh, the area I was watching is here. Uh, I got one contract. Let's see how it plays out. If it pushes, pushes down in the U.S. session, it will stop me out. 
Uh, looking at the square nine, we have 165, 166 around here. Targets to the upside, 169, all the way to 176 and 183. If they're going to tank it even more, it's going to go below here, 163. I have my stop at 162. Targets to the downside would be 163, 157, and then 151. There's a trader here that uh, that comments on my videos. He's he's betting that 150 is going to get hit. So we'll see. Let's see uh, if this area holds right here. And if it doesn't, then these are the targets to this downside. Even extreme 145. We got that low of 144. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It June, June 10th, June 25th. I can't remember 20 something. There was a low of 144. So we'll see. Maybe he wants to go and hunt that and, and see if that would hold. Um, I'm just speculating. But that's my game plan. Let's see how the uh, how it plays out today. And I'll uh, keep you posted on my thoughts on natural gas.